Hey guys, Benny here, and these are the new note boxes. After playing with these for about eight hours yesterday, building something that I'll release later on that you guys will probably hopefully think is amazing, I figured I'd I know them pretty well, and I'd make a tutorial for you guys so you could make your own little tunes and. Uh, this isn't going to be like an advanced tutorial or anything because that would just take way too long, like, yeah. So, basically to make it, you just put one redstone in the middle of your crafting table and then a block uh, of wood around it, or whatever it is, refined wood, whatever. And then you have your little note box. Now, there is two ways that I make... Ah, oh, I don't know how to say this, um... There's two ways that I make tunes out of these. First way is I use inverters and stuff, but we'll see. I'll show you in a second. Alright, we'll have a button on a thing so you guys can like push it and it'll be off the chain. And oh, crap, I didn't want to do that. Um, Alright, so this is the first way that I was trying, but this is for more smaller beats, but the beat I was making was pretty big. So what I did, every one that was, I would use these as one beat. So when I push this, that would be the one beat, the power that came through here. And then, say I wanted two gaps. Say, oh, alright, I'll just show you like this way first, because it's really confusing to explain. Alright, we put the notes on the ones with that are powered off, because if the power's on, then it's going to work opposite, obviously. But you could still probably do that to do back tones or something in the background. But we push that, and the tone happens. And the more inverters we have, which you guys should know how to make by now, the longer it will take for the tone to play. So say we have, like, a ton of inverters. See, this is why um it took like up a lot of room so I did have a different technique for this but if say you wanted a small beat you could do this piss off alright so everyone that's off we could put a beat there what the hell that was I hate that sound it like actually scares me but you could put a redstone torch here and have a tone coming off here also this way is a lot cleaner so you could have like it all worked out better, like it's actually in a line. The way that I'm going to teach you a bit of next is a lot more confusing. But yeah, you see how the, there's a gap before the next tone's pushed. But see how that this is all like messed up and messy. You could have it swerved like a snake form so that the things are closer together and you take up a lot less room. Because once you get really, really far away, you can't hear actually hear the tone being played. So, yeah, like, that's really it. If you want the, if you plan on having a massive long ass one, you're going to want to make it closer to you. Alright, now just before we go, if you put the block, the block under the, what are they called? Um, tone box is what makes it make different tones. So, if you put sand under there, I think it's like a snare or something, I don't know. See how it made that tick sound when you hit it. Also, right clicking on it changes the tone. So, yeah, you guys should actually probably know these few little basic things, but I wanted to teach you how to make the intervals. Oh, oh, yeah, I got one. Um, uh, quickly, if I have torches, because I don't want it to get too dark. And I have been recording for a while, actually. That's going to suck to upload, but yeah. Say you wanted, instead of this gap here, you just wanted to go straight to a next beat really fast. But this torch is powered, so it would be an opposite beat, yeah. So like I'll put the I'll show you just to so you get it. It's gonna work differently. See how it double played that tone? You don't really want that because you want it to play after this one. So what you do is instead of using the inverter, you use a repeater, which is just simply this. This is your basic repeater, so, oh, with um, redstone on top, and see how the torch is also off, but it's still only really one space, so what we do is we put another output here, have our wire, and now they will play after each other, so when we push this one, see how it was straight after, really fast, and then 
you can connect it to this one. Alright, um, redstone, no matter how long it is, does not delay it at all. It's instant. But redstone torches add delay, so don't think that making a long-ass wire is going to delay anything, because it won't. Unless you have repeaters, obviously. See? But that's really all I have to show you today, so thanks for watching. Bye.